Hi my beautiful friends. So here I am again talking on the topic of proteins because I have been bombarded with questions on Instagram on um, you know what are the sources of protein? I'm a vegetarian. Do I need it? Do I don't? So I'm going to try and answer as much as possible and I am going to be answering a lot of these questions from this book. Uh, I don't know if you already know about it, but this book was written by my brother and it has a lot of inputs from me as well. Uh, if you want to buy the book, uh, I'll drop a link below in the description box you can buy it on amazon or our website having said that let me clarify certain things that you need to define very clearly before you even get on to the topic of uh, proteins and the first thing you need to know is you need to define your goals very very specifically whether you want to lose weight whether it is that you're trying to gain muscle mass whether you're trying to lean up that goal has to be very very specifically defined before you go and talk about any protein supplementation let's talk about the first category which is the most or i'd say 90 percent of the gym goers that is they want to lose weight and um, now I'm going to categorize people into their eating patterns and then define why or why not they don't need or they do need protein supplementation. Non-vegetarian food for the most part has all the essential amino acids. So if you're a non-vegetarian and you're trying to lose weight, uh, my recommendation is you don't absolutely need an extra protein supplement because your non-vegetarian diet is going to give you enough proteins to lose weight in a healthy way even if you're gaining muscle i think for the most part you can avoid it uh, secondly the vegetarians which have milk so the lacto vegetarians and the lacto ovo vegetarians which means milk and egg and then if you have milk and egg uh, again uh, this is these two categories of people don't really need to go on any supplementation for proteins because their diet will have all the proteins with all the essential amino acids they need the only group of people who could possibly uh, need to work a little harder on their protein intake is the vegan group uh, but for them also if you're trying to lose weight for the most part if you increase the amount of protein uh, in your diet through pulses uh, you can actually substitute most of the proteins and just need to be careful about is having more grains and pulses along with nuts and technically you will not also need a protein supplementation uh, another myth there with most of the gym goers is that um, your muscle mass is not going to increase if you don't have protein and the muscle mass is going to increase if you have protein uh, well, if that was the case, then 100 grams of protein extra every single day and every gym goer is going to look like a superman or a superwoman, but we know that doesn't happen. One has to understand that um, even if you work out, whatever axis of protein you are consuming is going to be used up as energy and would eventually get stored as fat. Plus, along with that, you will be putting a lot of extra pressure on your kidneys and your liver and on your uh, system. One of the main reasons why most gym goers don't lose weight is that uh, they get a lot of extra protein from um, their whey protein powders and uh, thinking that it's going to give them, you know, it's going to be good for the energy levels and it's going to repair their muscles but to be honest with you protein supplements were developed for athletes um, for anyone who works out between four to seven hours a day which professional athletes do they need uh, protein supplements they need branch chain amino acids because of pressure so if you're working out for one or two hours every day I'd say 99% of the times you're not somebody who's actually a candidate for uh, going on protein supplementation and if you're trying to lose weight I'm not saying cut down on protein that you already have from your diet don't ever do that but you don't need to go on and buy a box of protein powder and use it as a supplement that's really not going to add anything to your weight loss program discussed a little bit about proteins let me come back to the questions we've uh, I've been asked uh, so somebody has written to me which is the best whey protein and you recommend a gainer 
Uh, let's look at the composition of what a gainer looks like. Um, usually when you buy a protein, it's either an isolate or a whey blend. Uh, whey protein, I would not say that it's good or bad. Again, whey protein is, is actually a byproduct of cheese manufacturing. So what is washed off is cheese. And when you buy an isolate, uh, basically that's, that basically means that there is more content of protein vis-a-vis -vis carbohydrates in that blend. And when you buy a gainer, it's uh, basically protein uh, mixed with more carbohydrates and fat. And my question to you is, if you have to gain muscle and you know that if you have to be on a muscle gain spree, you cannot gain muscle without uh, protein, of course, but without carbohydrate and fat. And why can't you have both the things from your normal food? I mean. Uh, then the question is vegetarian sources of protein. So when we say vegetarian sources of protein, I think if you are not a vegan, then uh, of course milk is a very good source of protein. All milk products, whether it's cottage cheese, whether it's um, milk as such, whether it's curd, they're all going to be very good sources of protein for you. And for vegans, a uh, good source of proteins is, of course, pulses and grains. Try to have as much whole pulses as you can. Soy is a very good source. Uh, soy milk, of course, is an option. Tofu is an option. I have a very interesting question for you. It says, how much protein is too much protein? So as I said earlier, if you're a non-vegetarian, for the most part, I don't think you need a protein supplement at all, unless you're replacing it with your major meals. Um, but ideally speaking, for someone who has a very active lifestyle, your body weight into 1.5 times grams of protein is sufficient for you. But the problem is that you can't isolate all the macros in all the foods when you're making that calculation if you can do that and if you're good enough then maybe you come up with the right estimate of the grammage of protein you're taking every day but um, it's not that protein is just present in dal or chicken or this protein you will get protein from your um, so-called carbohydrates as well I mean rice would have it depending on what rice you're having rice would have it uh, your atta has it so there's some bit of protein everywhere so if you can calculate all of that and your weight into 1.5 times that is the grammage of protein which is actually required for you if you are somebody who has a very active lifestyle easy to prepare high protein foods um, if you're a if you're a non-vegetarian of course there are lots of preparations for chicken that you can make in a microwave or an oven very very quickly that can be done egg of course egg whites is a very good source of protein so you can just flip an egg on a pan and that's you know there your protein on the table uh, for vegetarians of course you can look at pulses being a high protein food they can be in a boiled form you can make a, a dough out of them and make a chila or a dosa so all these things are going to be good high protein foods which are easy to prepare and then the last and the most valid question for all of this discussion do supplements work i cannot deny the fact that they don't work but um first thing that they work but first and foremost you need to understand whether you absolutely need a protein supplement then uh, the burning question these days is uh, the amount of adulteration and the amount of dope that's happening in the supplements um, I did share my personal experience with uh, you guys uh, I think about two three months ago that um, I ended up trying a supplement which was doped and it really screwed up my system my thyroid was to the roof and uh, I had a hard time correcting it and getting it back but I could do it because uh, having all that knowledge of nutrition did help me I did not have to go on any medications but uh, that's a risk that you're taking um, and why that's happening is that uh, all these confusions and the, all these dope is happening in the market is because suddenly supplements have become um, a substitute for weight loss which is not and 
and uh, suddenly people are taking protein shakes thinking it's going to help them lose weight and the manufacturers what they're doing is that they're actually lacing these protein supplements with stuff hormones be it gainers be it steroids it's happening because um, there's a huge misinterpretation of what a protein does to your body so i would rather request everyone to educate yourselves well and when you if you have to and you absolutely have to have to have a supplement do a research on the company know the background just don't buy anything uh, that's because it's cheaper you know and and uh, if you if you are somebody who's a gym goer just don't blindly follow your trainer uh, with regard to supplementation or nutrition i'm not saying that they're bad people but they have their expertise in exercise so you should let that happen and when you're trying to know what changes you need to make in your diet please for diet and supplementation please please go to a good nutritionist and that's the only way you'll be able to save yourself and never take anything off the shelf never take anything you don't need know the labels of for me bottom line is everything that comes in a box is a big question for me and i will not put that thing inside my body unless and until i'm 100% not even 100 200% sure of what it is and uh, i've learned my lesson the hard way and i hope my experience helps you in not repeating my mistake so so don't uh, i hope i answered all of your questions for your patience for putting up with me and uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, i hope i'm able to bring these videos to you every week thank you